not that long ago, the public requested that we have more in a la carte version of television channel, and we started breaking the cable TV foothold on television. The results were streaming services, started with a few, like Netflix and Amazon Prime, and now there seems to be a new one coming up every other week, from Disney Plus to DC Universe to Warner Brothers HBO Max to whatever NBC Universal is doing. Here at the Fanatarium, we will be breaking down these streaming services, some free, some paid, some in between, if you never heard of some of them. When we're done with all these episodes, you'll be able to decide which ones you like, which ones you don't, and if there's a hidden gem out there that you can try. Hopefully, saving you some money, or at least using it more wisely. Welcome to the Fanatarium. As we've discussed many times over the past couple of years now, the streaming wars is just getting more complicated. With more and more services joining every single day, the news just keeps piling in. Today, we're going to be talking about an existing service, CBS All Access, but it's going to be rebranded next year to Paramount+. Plus. Here's the story. So here's the article from Variety. This uh, is a story from September, but we have yet to cover it here, as I was hoping we'd get more news about it, but we have not yet, so I'm going to start covering it now. So CBS All Access has been around for quite a while. It's the Viacom, CBS, uh, Paramount streaming service. It's where you get Star Trek. Pretty much, uh, that's ooh, Star Trek and Twilight Zone are pretty much what I hear people talking about from there. So it wants to become a bigger player, but with Peacock and Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and HBO Max kind of taking away a lot of what they have, they needed to rebrand. And of course, just like Apple TV Plus and Disney Plus, and another one we're going to talk about in the future, they added a plus to their name. So here's what they say in the story. The new name will coincide with another expansion of its original programming efforts and its archive of programming drawn from the newly combined Viacom and CBS Corp archives. Viacom and CBS vowed to rev up efforts to expand the services overseas, which is very important, vital. Um, That's where Netflix dominates. And where places like Hulu can't go. And Paramount Pictures uh, is uh, the company's most established studio brand. So overseas, more people know Paramount than they know Viacom or CBS. So uh, new shows in the works include another reboot of The Game, the Mara Brock Echo comedy and spinoff of Girlfriends that aired from the CW 2006-2009 on, on BET. Also coming is Lioness, a CAA set terrorism drama from Taylor Sheridan, um, Cradle of Yellowstone. Uh, we also have uh, a, t- a scripted 10 episode limited series revolving around producer Al Reddy's experiences during the shooting of Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather in the early 1970s, which, with the recut of Godfather 3, is probably pretty good timing. Uh, with the rebrand, additional library shows on BET, CBS, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, and more content for Paramount Pictures Vault, Paramount Plus will offer about 30,000 episodes and films. BET, Comedy Central, and, Va- and other Viacom CBS imprints will also produce original series for Paramount Plus. Uh, CBS All Access is believed to have a subscriber base of about 8 million. The previous CB- uh, CBS Corp regime launched CBS All Access in 2014. Wow, it's that old now. As a bet on growth potential of the video on demand, and uh, how to use its uh, retransmission consent negotiations with MVPDs. The transition from iCentric name to Paramount Maintain a Mountain is another sharp sign of post-merger changes coming to the key CBS assets. So, um, here's one thing it says. So, CBS, uh, Viacom CBS aims to market Paramount Plus as an all-encompassing service that offers local TV across the U.S. through the CBS affiliate base, also important, as well as live sports and news in addition to on-demand originals. Here's the description of the series. So this is the offer. A scripted limited event series of Paramount Television Studios based on the Oscar um, winning producer Al Ruddy's extraordinary never revealed experience of Bikini Godfather. Lioness, the spy drama from Ty Sheridan uh, from Yellowstone. MTV's Behind the Music, the Top 40, the reboot will unlock MTV's Vault in the past 40 years for a unique and intimate look at the 40 biggest artists of all time through their voices and their eyes. This series will be produced by Creature Films and MTV Studios. That one could be interesting. Uh, the Real Criminal Minds, a true crime docuseries based on the hit CBS television series and produced by XG Productions in association with the CBS television ABC signature. That one could be really interesting. The Game. A revival being developed as part of BET's programming for Paramount Plus from CBS Television Studios and Gamut Productions. But overall, nothing really, like, must have. Yes, they have Star Trek. Yes, they have uh, shows like that. But, uh, they don't really have a lot of must-have stuff, it looks like. But if you do like Paramount movies, 
And you do wish they were on things like uh, Movies Anywhere. <clears throat> Paramount, we'll get to that. But there's going to be a lot of stuff. Um, but so far, it looks like nothing that you absolutely have to have. But if you're interested, sound off in the comments. It's, tell us what you think. But for now, this is another streaming service. Or at least a rebranding of one. And as you see, as you're going to find out in the future, the plus moniker is not going away. This is Jeremiah from Let's Talk, signing off.